Sniper rifles suck! No, I'm just kidding. Um, they're actually not that bad. Wow, I peeked the fuck out of the audio. So basically, the changes that they made in this past 2.4 patch from Friday, which is like the patch that gets us kind of ready in terms of balance and things like that for um, Rise of Iron. They've also added a couple other things, but I'm not really going to talk about that stuff. If you want to read the patch notes, I'll have a link in the description below, so go check that out if you want to just like delve into it and just know everything. But um, I'm going to specifically be talking about sniper rifles in this video. The main, I'd say, two, three changes they made um, are they lower the impact rating of the medium high impact archetype of sniper rifles, which are your thousand yard stairs, your longbow synthesis, your LDR 5001. Basically, the sniper rifles that everybody used, um, they lower the, they lower their impact. They do not snipe out of supers reliably, as it says in the um, patch notes. Basically, they can't snipe out of supers, at least in a one bang. You'll have to snipe them in the head and then do some extra damage in order to kill somebody. And then they also changed scope flinch, so it was 30% scope flinch, but now it starts at 50% the first bullet you get hit by, and then it slowly increases to 100%, so by the end you'll basically be, basically be looking at the sky. Those are probably the two main changes they brought down the impact. Um, they can still snipe off of reses, um, much to the same as the low medium impact archetype of sniper rifle, which is the same as the Antinomy 16, which is the new monarchy vendor sniper rifle. Um, not many people know about those, but um, including myself, <laughs> so because no one ever uses them. Um, <laughs> but um, they're basically pretty on par with those at this point in terms of like what they can do and what they can't do. Um, in the patch notes, they also say if you want to snipe people out of supers, you should be going for the super high impact archetype of sniper rifle, which is your black spindles, your black hammers, your Everdeed spear. Um, the ones that no one uses because they're super low aim assist and the they have like pretty low ammo capacity and they just feel very slow and clunky. Um, except for maybe Ephrodite Spear which feels kind of light and just does a ton of damage. So those are the main changes. Uh, my overall thoughts on this sniper rifle patch um, are that the gap between the medium high impact archetype and the, as I said, the low medium impact archetypes um, has shrunk because they can do the same things now. Um, both archetypes are completely viable now. I think they are still the best two archetypes um, to pick. Um, the only sniper rifles I would avoid actually are the ones on the extremes of the spectrum, which again are your super high impacts or your super low impacts. So by super low impacts, I mean the Waylorn's March, just because they can't snipe off res, and the um, super high impacts are just too clunky, at least for super fast paced play. Um, you can definitely use them, I'm not saying don't use them, it's just you will be at a disadvantage, at least in terms of aim assist, but if you're okay with that, go for it. Um, another super high impact is the Irene um, RR4, the one that used to have luck in the chamber for like no reason. But the super low impacts, like the Wear Lawrence March, is what, which is what you're going to see in the video, um, feels very viable. Just because it just has high aim assist, it really helps you out in that regard. Um, you can do a lot of work with it, it's very accurate, it's very reliable in terms of hitting headshots. Um, so I think the super low impact archetype is still completely usable as long as you're hitting your shots. Anyways though, uh, do I think this change was deserving? I think it was absolutely deserving. I think scope flinch was a huge issue in Destiny pre-update. Um, so I think, yeah, it was much ne it was very much needed. Um, I think sniper rifles feel very fair now as opposed to somewhat fair before the patch. Um, you know, there's still and always will be a skill weapon. Um, and again, I don't think they were like so unfair before, I just think they were less fair than they are now. Um, that being said, out over all these changes, the mental game skill cap for sniping has increased by a little bit. Just because the sniper flinch changes, not being able to kill someone at a super is, is fine in my opinion. Um, I mean shotguns can't, so why should snipers? I mean shotguns generally, at least with a blade dancer, you can shotgun them and melee them if you hit all your pellets. Um, but, you know, it, it's still extra damage on top of the ori original shotgun blast, which um, sniper rifles are the same now too, which is completely fair. They're both the main two secondaries in the game, um, so I, I think that's fine. Um, for, as I feel that's probably going to be one of the more disliked changes, but I think it's fine. Um, I agree with it completely, because it, shotguns can't, so snipers shouldn't be able to either. Um, they're both skill weapons, just in different ways, as I've said in past videos. Um, so some tips for adapting your play to suit these changes, mainly the sniper flinch ones. Um, so due to sniper flinch changes, you really need to position well and pick your engagements properly. Um, my advice is to stay on people's flanks, um, and if you're sniping someone while not on their flank, like while they're not, while um, they're looking at you or while they're facing your direction, odds are, unless you 
disengage and re-engage properly or you kill them super fast, um, you're going to die because they flinch you so much and you don't have time to switch weapons unless you back off immediately. Um, or they're going to put very significant damage on you. Due to this fact, as a sniper, primary usage is going to be very important. Um, so my advice in order to adapt is to get good with the primary and to also, if you're trying to improve at sniping, get good with the sniper rifle. Um, because the primary is going to save your freaking life. Um, if you guys have ever played sweats, you know that primaries are mainly used in sweats, at least in terms of snipers, um, and even shotgunners too. Like, you use your primary way more than you do in like, casual play. Um, so, you kind of have to think about it like that now. So, um, just keep your primary in mind, get good with the primary. If you're a sniper, uh, and as far as primaries go, I would advise using a hand cannon just because they're they are and probably for a long time will be very dominant within the meta um, Some good ones are last word as Luna Lord I fix her devil, you know those kinds of well-known Hand cannons are, are all good. So I mean I would go with any one of those and you should find success with a sniper rifle So those are my little tips um, keep in mind as well the meta is still forming so I could definitely be wrong about some stuff um, but these tips are just what I picked up after a few hours of play um, and just kind of figured out and that's why I had success with. So, um, main three things are don't get salty about not being able to kill people as supers first of all and um, position yourself well before shooting. Again, try and be on the flank of the enemy um, and if you do get caught not on their flank, on, on the enemy's front, um, if you want to win those battles you're going to need to Disengage after they see you and then re-engage from a different location that's close to your original location you're engaged from and then take the shot from there and if you miss, miss that shot I would advise pulling out your primary though I would advise pulling out your primary after you miss the first shot anyways um, Those are my little thoughts on the sniper rifle changes if you have any questions leave them in the comments below um, If you have any thoughts as well and your opinions you can leave them there as well um, I was Wiggling Wolf and I'll see you guys in the next video